in the track. He said when it did, he jumped up out of the bed. He said about the time he come up out of the bed, he felt the big old hand throw on his chest and slap him back down in the bed. He said, son, go to sleep. Daddy's here. I'll take care of you. You ain't got nothing to worry about. For daddy is here to help you, to see you through the night. He said, I took Brother Bobby and he said, I pulled them covers over my head. He said, and I got one of the best night's sleeps of my life because I knew I was in the hand of my father in the care of my father what are you trying to say preacher I'm trying to say if you don't know what you're going to do go to your father go to your father he'll put that big old hand across your chest and tell you I'm here and I'll never leave you you know what I found out my rest The Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28 through 29. One of my life verses, Brother Bobby. He says, Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. He said, And I'll give you rest. He says, Learn of me. I am meek and lowly in heart. He said, and you will find rest unto your soul. See, the only way you can come into that rest is to come into the blood, the flow of Calvary's blood. And I thank God that over 10 years ago, it has been over 10 years now, y'all, I found the flow of Calvary in my life. And because of that, I know that I know that I know that Jesus has saved me. I don't have to wonder. I don't have to uh, really bother to run around. And, and, and uh, you know, the first time I ever heard this saying was with this man right here. And Brother Steve looked at me and he said, I don't want no hope so salvation. I want a no so salvation. And when he said that to me, that is something that has been resonating. He told me that probably three and a half years ago. You remember that, Brother Steve? He told me that about three and a half years ago. And that's something that has settled down deep in my heart to know that I know that I know that I am saved because I have made it into the blood. Ain't you glad to know? But Lord, preacher, the devil wells on my mind and he torments me. He pounds at me. Well, welcome to the club. He does it to every one of us. We're not proud. You know what I found out? Giving my heart to Jesus. <laughs> While I was out there in the world, I didn't have no target on me. Seemed like the world. <laughs> you went, the world takes care of itself. But God... His people take care of themselves. What do you mean they take care of themselves? You see, what we did this morning, coming together, it draws strength off of one another and causes us to grab a hold of the strength of our brother and sisters. You know, it just causes us to feel that love and give, it gives you a reason to want to say, all my hope is in Jesus. I can take it and take and get back up and go another day. You take and you lay out of church week after week after week after week. Before you know it, you ain't going to have no conscience of ever stepping back into another church. It just I'm just being real today, y'all. And, and after a while, you'll just say, well, I'm good. I'm good. I ain't got nothing to worry about. No, 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 no. But whenever you take and when you come back into the flow, brother, the body of the body of Christ it causes you to say I know that I know that I know all because of what Jesus has done for me and I've got to get up and i got to go another day if he's willing to take and give me another breath I'm willing to go another mile for him amen I'm willing to go another mile 
So this morning, I'm going to ask if there's anybody who just would say, Preacher, I just, my mind's been tormented. I, I need help. I'm not asking you to tell me. I'm just asking you to take and give it to God. I don't need to know your problems. I'm not asking you to know your problems. But there is one in heaven who wants to know it all. And He wants to help take care of all of their problems. See, He cares enough about the sparrows that He gives them feed each and every day. How much more does He care about us? He cares about us. And He cares enough to help you this morning. Hallelujah. So as she plays something softly, I want us just to stand our feet if you're able and just begin to tell God what you need from Him. Just begin to tell Him what you, what you desire because, see, sometimes our desires, the devil is out to try to destroy them. He's out to try to hinder them. He's out to... I mean, the devil, he can see through our, our, our emotions what our desires are. He's... He's been at this a long time, y'all. He's been at it a long time. The world's been here for 6,000 years. He, he, he's, he's not a novice when it comes to knowing what our emotions tell us. Our emotions can tell on us, y'all. And so he knows what our desire is this morning. And if you have a desire that you want to follow after him, before you walk out the doors, there's going to be a stumbling block in your way. But you've got to ask God, Lord, give me the strength to make it across. Give me a strength to make it another day. Father, in your precious mighty name, Lord, God, I come to you this morning, God. Lord, and if there be anyone here this morning, God, Lord, that they would just like to take, Lord, God, and they would just like to renew, Lord, Lamb of God, Lord, their strength in you, Lord. God, if they would just take, Lord, God, and begin to call on you right now, God, Lord, I would ask, Lord, those under the sound of my voice, maybe later on, God, Lord, if they would hear this message, Lord, God, I would ask, Lord, God, that you would just take and you would just call some, Lord, God, to be able to take and to be able to call out to you, Lord. To be able to reach to you, Lord. To be able to say, I want that blood. I want that flow. I want what he's talking about. I need redemption. I need righteousness. I need to take and have rest. Lord, this morning, God, I would pray, Lord, God, that you would just reach out into the corridors, God, of this church, Lord. God, into the corridors of our hearts, Lord. God calls me, God, to be able to take, Lord, and have a greater love for you, Lord. God, I pray, Lord, not only for myself, God, but for these people that are here this morning, God. Lord, help us to fall deeply in love with you, God. Help us to see your blood for what it is, God. Help us to find that rest that we long for. Help us to be able to take, Lord, God, and to be declared righteous, Lord. God, through the blood of your Son, through the blood of what you shed upon that cross, Lord, upon your back. God, we thank you this morning for your blood. I thank you this morning for allowing me to flow, to come under the flow of that crimson flood. Oh, Jesus, this morning, God, I would pray, God, Lord, that you would just reach out there into the corridors, Lord. God, of the oh Lord, in way of the internet, God. Lord, if there be any that's lost, Lord, God, let them be able to come to you, Lord. God, let them be able to cry out to you, Lord. Let them be able to have you as their Savior, Lord. God, help them to find a place of worship. Help them to find a place of truth, Lord. God, where your truth is magnified and where your name is exalted, Lord. God, we pray, God, that you would just take and you would help each and every one of us that are here this morning, God. Help us to take and go through the battles of life, God. Lord, I pray, God, that you would just help us this morning, God. Lord, for those, Lord, God, that they feel like that they fight hell by the half acre, God. Give them the strength, God. Let the sword cleave to their hand, God. Begin to slay the enemy before their face, God. And cause your righteousness to be exalted, to be glorified, to be edified in our lives, God, like never before. God, we thank you this morning. Help us, Lord. Help those that doesn't know you, Lord, to have an experience, Lord, of a bloodbath. 
in your precious mighty name, God. And we'll be careful to give you the glory, the praise, and the honor for us in his precious name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah.